ants. It's always sort of just been there. Look, as a film that was made pretty much a decade before me, I wasn't expecting it to be good. But hey, it wasn't as bad as I thought, that's for sure. Oh, and also a slight pause, I'm not gonna be showing and telling literally everything that happened in the movie. I mean, I have 43 of them to get through, so I'm just gonna be giving my results and my honest opinions about it. Alright? Alright. So, Ants, I feel like the story is alright. Shit's pretty decent in this. And yeah, pretty nice and creative. C tier. The Prince of Egypt. Yeah, I really have nothing much to say about this movie. Honestly, I just didn't really find the amazement of it. I know some people ranked it in high tiers, but personally to me, I really didn't see the excitement in it. I just saw 2D animated characters, and in my opinion, 3D animation is better than 2D. That's not to say that all 2D animation is shit, by the way. That's just my opinion on this specific movie. But anyways, yeah, nothing much to really say about this movie. Another C tier. The Road to El Dorado. This is one of the first DreamWorks films I actually enjoyed watching, but yeah. There were a couple of funny scenes and a couple of awesome scenes, like, for example, look at this scene right here, and try to convince me otherwise. Look at this. One of the guys is making out with this girl, and later they get almost caught in a position like this. You cannot convince me otherwise. That guy had received a blowjob. Look at his facial expression. He loved every goddamn second of it. Look, you cannot convince me otherwise, alright? But anyways, off point. El Dorado was pretty fun, full of adventure and so on. And the animation was actually sort of enjoyable for me to watch. So, B tier. Chicken Run. Yeah, I'm not gonna spend too much time on this film. All I can say is, I did not like the animation. It looks like it's animated out of Play-Doh, and a few more movies upcoming will look like that, and I will continue to strongly fight against my opinion. C tier. To fly, watch me light up the sky. I don't want to talk too much about this film as well, because this is basically a shittier Prince of Egypt, but yeah, I didn't like it. This is actually going to be the first E tier, because this is actually something that I didn't like to watch. I kept checking the timeline consistently. Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me. Now Shrek is actually a good film. Before we even start, this is easily going in S tier. This is one of my favorite DreamWorks movies, no question about it. Seriously, it's a masterpiece even to this day. Even though it was made more than 20 years ago, it continues to be a masterpiece. Amazing. Spirit. God damn did I enjoy this one. Not only am I a huge animal lover, but what I respect about this film is that the horses, they don't talk. It's all shown through emotion. The happy moments, the romantic moments, the sad moments, the even sadder moments. It's all shown through the horse's emotion, I goddamn respect that. A tier. Sinbad was kind of interesting. I didn't check the timeline too many times, and I actually stuck around until the end, which is something that I probably will not do in a lot of the movies. So, C tier. Shrek 2 nails it. Honestly, it's even better than Shrek 1 in my opinion. So this as well as going S tier, no doubt in my mind. Amazing. Shark Tale was shit, and I can say it proudly. This is an F tier, I don't want to spend time on this movie. Moving on. Alright, you're probably not going to believe this, but the first time I saw Madagascar was at the mall a few years ago and my mom was choosing between the blue and the red shoes and I was playing Madagascar on the TV in the store so I just sat down and watched the entire fucking thing, proving that women are shopaholics, they goddamn hate that. But the movie itself was alright. B tier.
Wallace and Gromit was slightly better than Chicken Run, however it still has that Play-Doh style, so I'm still gonna have to give it a C tier at best. It's not a first, might be the last. Yeah, sure. Over the Hedge was a hilarious film and I couldn't stop laughing during it. I really don't have much to say about this film, it has animals, they were funny, so B tier. Flushed Away was actually decent. I can't give it C tier, I have to give it B tier because of the fact that a story was actually interesting behind this whole thing. So yeah, B tier, again. Shrek the Third was good, but it doesn't deserve S tier. It goes absolute top of A tier, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, good film. B-movie was weird. It was funny, yet weird at the same time. C-tier. <laughs> Kung Fu Panda was actually good. It was so good that after I saw it for the first time, I watched it again. Yeah, you can already expect this to go in the S-tier. This was nice. <laughs> Madagascar 2 was actually slightly better than the first one in my opinion, and since the first one was in B tier, this one is going to go in A tier. I think the story was funny and a lot more interesting than the original, so yeah, A tier. <laughs> Monsters vs. Aliens sort of exists compared to these good movies that we've recently seen, so I don't really have much to say about this except, um, okay I guess. So, C tier. How to Train Your Dragon. Absolutely beautiful film. Honestly, easiest S tier I can give in my life. Simple and very pleasing to an audience. Tell me, how many six year olds have imagined themselves in a set of hiccups place? Too many to count. I've been six once. I can say with confidence, I have been one of them. Hello. Shrek Forever After was pretty good. I have to give it A tier. It was alright. So, yeah, nothing really much to say about this. Good movie. Megamind sort of exists. Look, I've actually never even heard of this movie before, so I'm gonna have to give it a C tier. I saw it. It was alright, I guess. Yeah, C tier. Kung Fu Panda 2 is pretty damn awesome. Still, I have to give it the S tier. It's pretty fucking awesome. Honestly, I don't really have anything much to say about these movies. Yeah, they're pretty sweet. Now, Puss in Boots is a classic, especially if you were born between 2005 and 2013. It will be a remain a classic to y'all. This has to be a fucking S tier. It's great. Amazing. Madagascar 3? Eh, it was alright, I guess. I guess I can give it B tier. It was sort of interesting to watch. Yeah, just B. The Rise of Guardians has been a classic for me, and probably most of y'all as well. Honestly, I just remember hearing about this movie as a kid, always wanting to watch it but never got the chance to because, you know, little kids just can't have access to every movie on the internet. But yeah, B tier. Also, is it me or does this guy look a little bit like Hiccup? Maybe it's just me. Now the Croods? Pretty funny caveman movie. Now, this was very funny, but honestly I remember watching the Latvian version when I was a kid and boy the Latvian actors fit better for these characters. At least to me, the voices just seem way more fitting. You can try to find the Latvian version, you can use Google Translate, but yeah, in my opinion the Latvian actors fit better. Still though, movie was pretty interesting, B tier. Turbo! Seems unrealistic. If the snail were actually going this fast, it will be dead. The fucking skin, he would just fucking grind himself like on a cheese grater, but you know what? That's not my problem. 
Anyways, the movie is about a snail who drank fucking Turbo out of a car. That's how he got the name, Turbo. And fucking wants to race in a 500 mile racetrack with F1s. And win. C tier. Mr. Peabody and Sherman is a pretty interesting history movie. Honestly, if I had this kind of history teacher as my dad, I would probably enjoy history. I mean, my dad enjoys history, but like, I guess I never had interesting teachers, so I will never know for sure. Yeah, full of adventure. What the fuck you want from me? B tier. How to Train Your Dragon 2. I've been sucking up to the first one, and you best believe I'm gonna suck up to the second one, cause this was so damn good! It was amazing. S tier. Easy. Now... The movie of penguins... Yeah. It, it's as good as you would expect after so many good ones in a row. D tier. Home. Home exists. I guess it was funny. I remember my dad showed me this movie when I was like, what, seven, eight years old? And he thought it was funny as shit, so you barely dad approval. And honestly, rewatching it these years later, I guess I could see his point. It was pretty fucking funny, if I'm honest with you. B tier. Alright, what would have been next is a normal review. If I wasn't a whole week behind schedule, yeah, that's just fucking great. So up next, the rest of them, I'm just gonna be saying the tears. That's it. B D A B S C D B C D S. And there you fucking have it. I watched and ranked every single DreamWorks movie. Animation movie. Somebody give me a pistol with one bullet. I mean, sorry for being one week behind the schedule, but you can see the results. I mean, come on. So thank you everybody so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!